Hey, Sam. How are you? You're totally muted. Hello? They, hold on. You're totally muted. There you go. How are Hello. you? Give them, give them a few minutes just so they can start popping in to like 10 05. Is that okay? No. Can I turn off my camera though? So you guys don't watch me just here sitting here. Yes. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, just give them a few minutes. They, they'll start sprinkling in and then like around 10 05, we begin, okay? Tranquila, perfect. I'm super excited. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Really am. Me too. Thank you so much for doing this for, for, for us. I feel like it's a hot topic. I think um, realtors need to know. I think that uh, Trek has a lot of time on their hands. We're all on social media. It's important yes. that we're all compliant. Yes, I agree. And you've been, you've been advocating this all over. So I am very happy that you're here. I'm very happy we get to learn something from you today. Um, yeah. But it is definitely a very hot topic, like you said. Agreed. Amazing. So just let's do, you know, 10 or five, give them three more minutes and you can begin. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Samantha. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I love seeing you. Thank you so much for, for being here with us today. I'm pretty sure that they'll continue to sprinkle in, but let's not, you know, waste any more of our time and let's go straight sure. to it. You know, like you had mentioned just a few minutes ago, this is such a hot topic. Um, I love that I, I teach for the agents to, to brand themselves and to create their marketing. 
and to look as professional and, and ha as possible out there. But then they forget that they have to go by NAR rules and regulations. So the code of ethics, correct. Yes, the code of ethics on, on advertising and who better than you to provide us this knowledge this morning. You're such an advocate for it. This is all you do, this is what you know. So I give you the floor and let's go straight to it. All right, I'm gonna share my screen with you guys, but I'm gonna go back and forth um, because this is a training I've never done before. Um, I want to show you more examples than just sit here and talk to you all day. Which, which, is, which is great because I feel that when we sit here and we just, you know, blah, blah, blah all day, I don't think that the agents grasp as, as much knowledge as they should. So being able to provide examples and showing us, you know, I that think it's even better. So uh, first off, hello, everyone. I know you guys are on mute, but I know you guys are all saying hello back to me. Yes. <laughs> In some way or another. A little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Sammy. Uh, but everybody knows me as social media Sammy. I like to practice yoga and meditate, hence I have a huge mandala behind me. Um, I have been doing social media marketing for over 10 years. I started in um, a small boutique spa here in the Gables in 08. And I was just doing their social media, uh, very you know, rudimentary. And then I, in 2013, fast forward after doing social media for so many years for different types of companies, I became the chair of marketing for the Women's Council of Realtors. And that's where I learned. That's what I always tell people. I was thrown to like the real estate world, but I call them La Veterana because those ladies knew what they were doing and my land where she laughs. And they taught me a lot about real estate and real estate marketing. Now we're in 2020 and I can say that I've developed over a hundred brands for just realtors. So this is something that I do. I eat it, I breathe it, I live it. Like Andrea says, like this is all I do, Andreina says. Um, but let's get to it. How many of you guys have personal Facebooks? All of you, right? I can see y'all hand nod, so you can nod your head. Okay. Um, your personal Facebook, and I'm starting with this because this is like my biggest like thing, so let's just get it out the like elephant out. The, your personal Facebook is not personal, okay? According to the Florida statute, the moment that you put that you work at XYZ brokerage, you are now abiding by the code of ethics. What does that mean? Andreina, you know the code of ethics. I, I'm assuming the agents know it. You, 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 <laughs> you assume that the agents know it, but I don't think that many of them take the time to actually review it and actually practice it until they have to do the code of ethics class every so, you know, every, you know, whenever their year lands on the code of ethics. What I like to tell my agents is very easy. What do you really know? Real estate, right? Yeah. That's what you graduated from. Then don't talk about anything else because it's not ethical. You are not an expert in that. You are not a tax you know, person. You are not an attorney. You guys are great realtor. Don't take me wrong. Y'all are wonderful, but you cannot over-educate. So when you have your personal Facebook, and I'm gonna go back to that, and you put, I work at XYZ, Unfortunately, you cannot have opinions on stuff because that opinion now represents the opinion and the liability of your brokerage. Correct. I know that there are heavy conversations happening out there, guys. And trust me when I tell you I'm just as passionate. Your opinion is not relevant. What side of the defense we are on, that's not relevant. I think the safest thing is to just Keep your mouth shut. No, I'm kidding. I'm not though. The safest thing is to not speak of anything that's not relevant to real estate. You're not um, legally bound to. I, however, own my own company. I can say whatever the F I want. I don't have anyone's liability. I'm liable for myself. If you don't want to work for me or work with me because of my views, that's on me. You are realtors and you do have someone's liability on your head. You have a whole company. And at the age, and I had this happen to me last week, a brokerage let go of a realtor because of the statements that she was making on Facebook. It was affecting his business so much that he had to be as a business owner, make a decision and say, oh, you know, I need to cut this agent off. And I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen to you, but I do want to kind of scare you guys and realize that this is much bigger than what you think. Your opinions 
are much deeper than what you think. You have an entire brand that you're representing behind you. And if you keep that same concept and idea and use common sense, you don't need to read the code of ethics, but use like ethical common sense. Don't talk about someone and use their first and last name. That's a breach of confidentiality. I know that my clients bother me. If you guys follow me on Facebook, I will let y'all know. I rant my Facebook, my Instagram, but we can't say people's names, guys. Okay. We can't, we can't share listings that aren't our listings. We know that, but even on your personal Facebook, I'm spreading this out because your personal Facebook, I see you guys. I follow you guys. Sorry. I have a kitty. Say hello. Um, I see you guys. I follow you guys. You're not attorneys. You're not tax people. You're not politi polit politicians. You're not any of these things by law. You are a realtor and that is it. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> if you are an attorney and you want to have an attorney page and talk all this, all the stuff that you want to talk, you guys can do that. And I cuss and I'm sorry, Andreina. And it's like, oh my God, this lady, I'm, I'm very sorry, guys. She's my French on that. Okay. Now, this is a great resource. This video right here, I'm going to paste the link on the chat at the end so you guys can watch it. It's about five minutes long. And she's really good about understanding the social media legal risks. Like she goes into the statute and exactly what happens and how much your fines will be if you get fined because they're out there. So again, the moment your personal Facebook says, I work at XYZ brokerage, you are now running under all the advertising laws of the Florida statute for the realtors, running under all the code of ethics. So I need you to go back guys and scrub those Facebooks clean. No legal advice, no sharing listings. Um, you can't boycott certain groups. You can't say, oh, this neighborhood is this, or these people are that. You can't do any of that. Remember equal housing, okay? Um, and this is a big one, again, the defamation. I keep saying this because I see it all the time, the screenshot, because if this realtor said that, or this one thinks that, we can't do that, guys. We cannot do that, all right? How many of you are guilty? Don't nod your head, just say it, in your, say it inside. My lady, don't nod your head, or just say it on the inside. <laughs> She's like, I've done none of this, okay? So again, your personal Facebook is not your Facebook. What is considered an ad, an ad, okay? Because a lot of these statues are gonna say the word ad on them. And that's where the blurred line comes in because legally an ad is anything you put money on, right? To return on investment. So if I put an ad out, it's assumed that the ad is being paid for. Now with social media, that line becomes blurred. Why? Your accounts are generating revenue. They are ad platforms, technically. Are we following? Does that make sense? Yes. It gets weird because you're like, well, I'm not paying, so it doesn't really matter. It's my, it's my Instagram. It's my Facebook. Mm, but it's not. Okay? You need to treat them as a form of ad. Follow me. If you're posting on your Instagram a motivational quote, how many of you guys do that sometimes on your professional Instagram? You post a cute quote, right? Legally, you don't have to have your broker's logo on this quote, okay? However, on your caption, in your bio, even if you want to have it as your name, you need to mention your brokerage. It is highly illegal to not mention your brokerage as a realtor. I see it all the time. Andrina, how many posts do you see with like listings with just the realtor's logo and no brokerage? All the time, this what we're doing this class. This That's is this is literally bad. why I I called you in, um, and and some people might have it on their bio, but then don't mention the broker ever again on any of oh. their on their you know. Uh, I try to tell people to like. Bios. My thing, I always start with the motivational quotes because I, I'm like, okay, I think that's a, I think we can, you know, we can, we can both agree that motivational quotes, you know, do having your brokerage and your bio and your, and your caption is enough, maybe as a hashtag to be safe. I tell my agents, put your broker's logo. I mean, your broker's info on every caption as a signature. So your signature on Instagram or Facebook could be, I use dots guys. So dot, dot, dot Marlene Yamas Leon. Realtor at XYC brokerage, phone number, email address. That's very, very compliant. Now you have the broker's information, 
pool broker's you know, low, uh, name, you have her phone number and you have her email. So if there's a liability issue, you have exactly who to contact. Is there gonna be an issue on a motivational quote? No, probably not. Now, I start with that because that's fun. Everything else, put your logo on, put your broker's logo on it, okay? Listings, I need complete broker logos on these listings, okay? Let me show you an example. Hey, why do you not wanna, why is it? Oh, it's full screen, my bad. What's going on? That's fine. I hate to use an agent that I know. You guys are gonna hate me. This is not compliant. Okay? That was our realtor's decision to be non-compliant. Let's not look at me, but this is not compliant. Why? She's discussing closing prices, an entire real estate transaction, and her broker's logo is nowhere to be found at all. I have no idea. See, see, well, where you work at? Who are you? What house was this? Is this nothing? That's very not good. Okay. CC gonna get at me after this. <laughs> 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 it's okay. It's all love. So when you're doing these types of advertisements, is it awesome to show you're just closed and say how much you negotiated and how much you got towards closing costs? That's great information. But the moment you don't put your broker's logo, you have a huge problem. Now you're going to get fined and that huge commission check that you got, it was for gusto y panada. <laughs> so can I ask a question? Yeah, of course. Why is it that we're not getting these listing coming to your table for approval? So you can look it over. So these um, additional fees or, or sites, citations or whatever it is that we you know uh and, and get us in trouble because there's the simplest little word nowadays will get us into a pickle you know i think the safest thing is to just be very uniform in your compliance i feel like you, if you just use your broker's logo on as many as many pieces of marketing as you can without and this is where I kind of like, as a graphic designer, aesthetically, and I see what happens, like, you don't want your broker's logo on everything. Let what? me ask you a question. If your logo, if your personal branded logo is on anything, your broker's logo has to be on there, isn't yes, it? attached. So I'm going to show you, um, yeah, it, it should be. What happened was about, you know, when this whole social media thing started, I feel like a lot of people got logos done, and yeah. they were just running with them. And, and, it, and it was okay for a long time. And I'm going to tell you, I was one of those people selling logos. I'm guilty. Now, if you can sell logo. Like, I'm, I'm a big advocate for agents to have their own branding and their own logo as long as you're compliant when you use it. Your and logo you're needs to be smaller it. than your brokerage. So I'm going to give you an example of a compliant right. logo right here. This is the broker's logo. I'm sorry. This is the broker's logo. It has to be completely named out. You can't have, like, Douglas Element is DE. Now they can put DE on a motivational quote, like I tell people. That's kind of like that loose, kind of like, ah, whatever. But you can't have a DE logo on a whole on a whole broker's open. I need that Douglas Element spelled out or whatever the broker's all the way out. And that goes the same thing with your personal logos. Your personal logo is the ratio 70-30. This needs to be 70. This needs to be 30. Okay? So this logo is always larger. If you are compliant with your personal logo, Andreina has a great point. You slap that boy on everything, bah, 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 and you're good, you're compliant. You already got your broker's logo on there and you have your logo and you don't have to think about it. That's my best, the best advice to be compliant is to not, not be compliant, right? No, the best advice to be compliant is just to be uniform. If you, can, if you can create a logo that's compliant and you can slap it on everything, you've already done half of the work. If you create a signature that's compliant and you put it on all your posts, you're compliant and you're good to go. Even if you want to put a disclaimer at the end of every post that says these, this opinion does not represent that of a legal advice or, or whatever disclaimer that you want to put, you're more than healthy to. My suggestion is oh, be uniform in it, create this policy, this logo, this disclaimer and this signature and put it on all your posts to stay safe. Amazing. Okay, when your name appears on your stuff, guys, this is like, and I hate calling people out today, but 
like a Jenny Sells Miami. That's not her name. Her name is not Jenny. She has a last name. It's very important that your last name be on stuff. So when she has a listing, you'll notice it's Jennifer, whatever her last name is, at this brokerage. Understood? You guys can't be Marlene Sells Miami, AndreanaSoCute.com on your listing. I need your whole name. That is super important. I'm going to send you this uh, this presentation to uh, Andreina with these statues, okay? Perfect. Um, um, so it's really important, guys. I see it all the time. It's okay if you have a cute logo. It's it's so fine if you're if your name like I'm social media Sammy. If I was a realtor, I'd probably do like Sammy sells Miami or Sammy from Miami or something cute. That makes sense, okay? But then if I have a listing, I can't be Sammy from Miami. My name, y'all want my government is Samantha Rose Rodriguez. Full name has to be on there. This is a big one. It seems very silly, but this is what they love to find for. So do you guys know what the number one thing to be fined for is on social media? Tell us. Sharing someone else's listing without permission. Yes. Guys, even your little cute, I'm showing this beautiful property. There's, no, it's not your listing. It's not your listing. I'm really happy for you and your buyer that are looking at this great property. And I know you're really excited to bring more buyers to see if you can get something on the, I hear all of you. I hear you. I hear you. I understand the money. I understand the business, but don't do it. Cause that seller's agent. What if they come at you? What if Fred comes out of your listing? So you need to be very, very, very careful. Ask for permission. And this is what I tell agents. When you ask for permission, isn't that a great way to open the conversation with an agent? Like, a, like, so tell me more, you know, what, what's yes. your seller really? It, it's a whole conversation that now just started. Whereas if you were sneaky and just sharing the listing, like, what are you really getting out of that? But an enemy, it's not worth it. Um, so when you're sharing these listings that aren't yours, I, I ask, I beg that you please, 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 please. Ask for permission. And it cannot just be a conversation. No, if it needs you, writing. If you read the, the board rules, not only does it have to be in writing, they have an actual form. And the most important thing about this form is from what date to what date can you actually advertise this property? Exactly. Because what if you're advertising it after it expires or after it gets a, a contract on it? And that's happened. I've seen that happen. I mean, again, I feel like I hate saying common sense, but a, a lot of times better safe than sorry. Like I said, just put it on everything. Always ask for permission. Like that form that you're speaking of, Andreina, do you have access to this? Yes, it's actually, um, it's a board form. I'll, I'll, I'm going to get that now. I'll, I'll go on the website because that's, that's a good to you. It's through the, yeah. it's through the MLS. I'll send it to you. Yeah. The, the, yeah. If it's through the MLS, there's some things I don't have access to, but then, then yeah, definitely send that to me. A question that I like to ask myself, like, like I always tell my realtors, ask yourself, even on the personal Facebooks and the Instagrams, why are you responding to this post? Even if it's in listing, even if it's a, a real estate opinion, is it worth it for you to respond? Like literally stop and say, what is the return on my investment if I respond on this post? Am I going to get something from it? If the answer is no, keep it moving. Okay. A great one. Are you discussing something within the scope of your expertise as a licensee? I see a lot of social media posts on like, um, best restaurants in Miami. That's fine. Okay. That's, that's, that's okay. You can be a foodie. What you can't be giving is like credit advice, like legal advice. No. Yeah. I was about to get mad at you. Cause one of the things that I teach them is to become ex experts or specialists of an area and to speak about these restaurants. Don't you be killing no, my no, no, no. The restaurants are fine. That's why I always say it because if you read this, you'd be like, but I'm not a restaurant foodie person. And I can post that. No post restaurants. You guys can post things that are fun like that. Obviously those are your personal opinions about a community that you live in. What I can't stand is for you guys to be like, don't pay your taxes. Like, wait for me. No, 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 no. 
No. <laughs> you can't even say, I don't want you guys saying, use your tax money to buy a house. That's not, you can't say that word. You can't say those words. You can say, not sure what to do with your refund. I don't know, I'm not sure either. Very vague. You guys cannot give specific advice, not on taxes, not on legal, definitely not on politics, I'm saying. Not on politics, not on, on um, even the mask. I don't care what your opinion on wearing the mask and what not wearing the mask is. Essentially, the government has, has come to a conclusion about it. You are not part of the CDC. You are not a doctor. You are not a specialist. You are not, none of those things. We can't have an opinion on it. We are essential workers. And this is what we have been asked to do. And that is that. Whether you like it, whether you're not, da, 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 all that stuff is extra and it's going to get you in trouble. So I just, I tell my agents again, is it worth responding? Is it worth talking about? What are you going to get out of it? Like you they say, when in doubt, ask. And I ask, when in doubt, ask, because everything has changed with your words that you're choosing, with what's going on. We have to be super, super uh, careful. I do hear it in Atlanta, um, and it's very touchy right now with some of the listings, with the master and the main, you know what we're talking about. We have to be very super careful. Yeah, I mean, I think that, I don't wanna use the word careful. I think we should be cautious and self-aware. I think we should have been like that in business this whole entire time. Nobody should be ever talking about things they don't know about. No one should ever be offending another group of people, whether it's your opinion or not. That, those things should have never been happening. So it's good that we're all putting brakes on it real quick because it's affecting our, our money and our bosses, <laughs> our brokers. So again, I always just like ask yourself, am I offending anyone by this? Am I, maybe not that deep of a question, but is this something I genuinely have to say? Is it something I, I must, must, must say? The, the answer usually is no, okay? Now, when you're posting on your, on your personal Facebooks and your public Facebooks, again, this is not yours anymore. This is your brokerage's opinion now. So always remember that. Even if you're responding to someone else, I post a lot of... Um, thought-provoking things to get comments. That's my Facebook. If you're a realtor and you comment on my post, I can report you. I won't, I'm just giving an example. So with that same idea, imagine you comment on some post about something that's not relevant and you just make an opinion and there now you're, you're getting hot, you know, getting heat from your, your broker. It's not worth it. I, I hate to tell people to stay quiet. I, believe that everybody has a voice, but if your voice was your own, and when you're a realtor, unfortunately, your voice represents an entire community of people. So you need to be careful with the words that you choose. Uh, aware, aware, not careful. Let's be aware. Let's be self-aware. Um, truth in advertisement. I have to go over this because It's very important that you guys are honest in your pictures and in your advertising, all right? There's a thing called um, blind advertising. So, which isn't what I'm talking about right now, but it kind of goes into it. So if I'm advertising a property in Miami and the house isn't so pretty, you cannot take a stock image of a nice home and say like, this Miami home is something you, like, you can't do that. That is not accurate. That is not a representation of the home. And it's a blurred line because I see agents do it where they're like, this could be your living room. No, it can't. That is a stock image. That cannot be my living room. That is false, okay? Are we following on that? That's gonna come out new. Yes. The stock imageries that we're using of homes I mark my words, like in six months, there's going to be huge, like, because we can't do that. We can't just be using these pictures. And a lot of those pictures, can I tell you the truth? Those are, those are photographers of like a Maryland home, like a real estate photographer who had extra pictures and submitted them to Shutterstock and submitted them to Getty Images or submitted them here and there. Those are going to have repercussions in six months. My advice to you is use like the Canva stock imagery, the free licensing. 
and be very vague on those descriptions of what you're saying. No, they can't live there. No, that is not a listing. No, that is not a Miami home. Um, yes, I'm a realtor and I can help you get into a home, period, okay? It needs to be very clear your position, your place, and what you can help them with. We cannot sell the dream. Like, we really can't. And it's fun to like, oh, look at, but it's not. It's, it's not compliant, okay? The um, I don't think we attack people or entities, but this is what people are getting in trouble for right now. Opinions. Opinions are opinions. You can feel very strongly about something because it happened to you and it will still be an opinion. So it's important that, again, we keep our opinions to ourselves. I just want to go over blind ads really quick and then um, just staying on the, right, on the right side. Opinions are far more likely to create legal trouble, okay? Um, even making comments about lenders, about the title company that you worked with. I, I keep saying this. Let's say you had a bad experience with a lender, right? And you want to write a review because you're upset. Well, that lender with that same token can say, you realtor, are def you know, that's defamation of character. That's your opinion that I wasn't fast enough. That's not a fact. I never promised you a closing date. You see how that works? It gets really sticky icky. I had a, a title company that was upset about a couple of realtors that wrote bad reviews around them. And you know how they were able to get it removed? With this statue right here. That is an opinion and that is not a fact. And by the code of ethics, a realtors cannot just throw out these opinions like that. That's defamation and that's going against another, type, another entity or another business. And that's not compliant. So even when you're leaving reviews about people that you work with, I need you to be very careful about the words that you choose. Okay, it cannot be an opinion. If you do want to complain, it needs to be very like, the lender promised me X, Y, Z, and I got A, B, C. That's a fact. That's not an opinion. So even with your reviews, even with the communications that you have with the people that you work with, you need to be accurate and you need to be careful, okay? Now, um, Running blind ads, you guys need to put your, that's when you don't put your broker's logo on something essentially, but it's deeper than that. For me, a blind ad can just be like, you guys, those coming soons. That's not, Andrina, what's the coming soon law right now? 24 hours? No, the coming soon, you still have to put it on the MLS. Um, coming soon is 30 days and you can only share it within your brokerage. You cannot advertise it out to the world. You cannot advertise those coming soon, guys. I keep seeing them. Does everyone else keep seeing them anyway, though? Yeah. Yes. We all, okay, so we're clear that your personal Facebook is no longer personal. Is your personal Facebook personal? No. The moment you work at XYZ, right? Where does broker logo go? Everywhere. Stay safe. You don't want your brokers on your butt, okay? I would say the exceptions to that are motivational quotes. Um, if you're eating at a restaurant and you wanna highlight the restaurant, you're mo I'm 100% sure you're okay of not putting your broker's logo on that restaurant picture. So I'm gonna put here examples of where not to put it. I'm sending you guys this. That's why I'm typing it out for you, okay? So motivational quotes. Um, you know, uh, city, uh, city highlights, personal pictures, okay? Now, association recommends that you don't mix content. That's pervaded, that's like literally what they say on their site. I'm gonna disagree with them, I'm sorry. I believe that a good marketing strategy, look at Kim Kardashian, look at Kylie Jenner. We wanna know about you. Okay, I believe in marketing, especially in real estate. Before I trust you with one of the largest transactions of my life, 
I kind of want to know about you. And I know it sounds like, but you shouldn't want to. Yeah, I do though. I want to know where'd you grow up? You got kids? Do you like ice cream? Are you vegan? Like, I don't know. Do you have a dog? People like to know these things. So I, I disagree. I think you should post um, semi-personal pictures on your profiles. These semi-personal pictures do not require your broker's logo on them. But again, if you are consistent in keeping your broker's information and your contact information and your signature on every single post, you're good to go. You're still compliant. You're still letting everyone know where your work, um, you know, who you are, what you do, where to contact you, what you're liable for under your picture of your restaurant, you know, that you're recommending. Can you say what you want on social? No, you cannot. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. It's, um, it's okay. I think you guys make really good commission checks. I think it makes up for it to not be able to say what you want on social media. Open another account if you want to be Molly, the, the politician or, uh, you know, campaign for whoever, whoever 2020, make your own Facebook for that. And then you can have all the political beliefs and reasonings that you want, as long as you don't put where you work. So if you have a personal Facebook and you want to put, I, you know, works at none of your damn business, that's fine. You can do that. Then you're not, that personal Facebook needs to be very private. You can have your friends on there. You are no longer representing anyone but yourself. That's a very personal Facebook. You're not going to have too much fun. I promise you. It's way more fun when you have 4,000 friends and, and face, you know, and you're using Facebook for its, its, its full potential. But with that, my, my advice to you is always think, is what I say going to benefit? Is it going to benefit my business? Is it going to make a difference? And it's probably not. It's probably a rant. It's probably, you know, you're upset. Uh, you, you know, it's not relevant. What's relevant right now is your business and staying afloat in this market. And right now we're in, in Andreina, I don't know where you see the market going, but our market's hot right we now. We are in weird times, if you will. Our market is hot. So I think it's important that, um, I don't know who was speaking. I'm sorry, I didn't see your name on the bottom, but like she said, like, just be careful with your word. Think about it. Think before you speak. We should be thinking before we speak anyway, but think before you speak or don't speak. Just, it might be better not to. Um, when you're, you, you know, let's put here, no coming soon. Just stay away from them. People are getting fined for that. That's why I brought it up. Does anyone have any questions? No. Andreina? I'm here. I don't have any questions. I think this was a... Does anyone have any questions, Andreina? Do you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Not Winnie. I don't have a, any questions. <laughs> okay. Winnie, is that, well, that was your name? Let me see that. My know. first name is Winsome, but I go by Winnie. Oh, Winnie, I like that. What's your Instagram, Winnie? I'll follow Pardon? You. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Your Instagram? Your no, I came off everything right now um, because I have to do exactly what you are saying to make sure that I'm in compliance. And I got a little worried because I was in a house yep. deal recently and I lost it, the deal. Wow. Yes, in Boynton Beach and the, you know, my heart broke. I did one side of the deal and the other side, um, I lost it because of, uh, like you said, sharing your, um, when, when listings are being shared. That's a, that's a big one. I'm, and it sucks, man, because there's enough business for everyone. It really is. Um, yeah. So if you want, Winnie, what I can do is um, 
I'm gonna put my note, my name, my 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 information here, guys, for all of you. And if you have like a specific question or you want me to just consult you and see, you know, what the next step is, I'll definitely take 15 minutes out of my day at no cost and just like just you know talk to you and let you know and consult you on what what direction you should be going. Because social media is a great platform for marketing and it hurts my soul if somebody can't use it. It really does. I've seen agents get so many leads, so it, it hurts me that, that that happened. It really does. Understood. I'm going to put here, how do I get the chat up? I'm so like tech savvy, but like Zoom is not. Mm, here we go. So I'm social media Sammy. And I did do my 63 hour course, Andreina, recently. Amazing. It, it was. Amazing. I was, um, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was gonna be hard. <laughs> I was like, oh. Okay, that's all right. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more difficult. I've been working in the industry for a long time though, so I guess I was familiar with the with the terminologies and um is that most of the things that they teach you is more um law correct. and math and they don't really teach you what you're actually gonna be using out, out here. And then um it's so important to have the right brokerage that teaches you the things that you need to know. Yeah. And um and I and I'm just gonna pitch Andreina really quick because I've been with her for a long time. And if there's something Andreina is really good at, it's teaching and educating. And she has so much patience. She's so patient <laughs> and she'll really like go with you and explain everything. And I think that's so important because now that I did the 63 hour course, and I think I could not do a transaction right now. I don't know shit. <laughs> so uh, kudos to you, Andreina, for always you know always trying to update your agents and always having them you know on point. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to send you guys this too. Let's, uh, let me, um, download it real quick as a PDF and I'll, uh, I'll send you guys this. These are the statutes verbatim. So you can like really get into them. You're going to see the word a lot ads and, um, legally ad is something that's paid for, but to better be, be safe than sorry. Like I tell people, it's not only about paid ads. They're going to come after our profiles. I'm telling you, Fred doesn't have anything to do right now, and everybody's on the internet. You're sure right. I got a question, please. Mm -hmm. uh, why is it that we um, at Brokers LLC, we can create our own water cooler? We stop in and we stop out. Exactly. Due to the fact that we can't post certain things, meaning, uh, like you said, you went through each step. We have to be very careful. We have um, positive motivational slurs or whatever. What is there any way we could consider creating a, a broker's LLC water cooler? We see that a, a water lot now. Water, yeah, water, 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 water cooler where we can stop in and yeah, we can sure. drop things in. I'm on my way. Like a uh, like maybe like a template where you guys just drag and drop and it's already done. Yes. I'm not sure yes. I understand. Yes. Yeah. yes. 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 Like a water cooler. You know, everybody sits, uh, go to the water cooler to gossip, to talk, to drop hints, to give ideas. Due to the fact that we, there are certain things that we can no longer do in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, we can create our own water cooler area where we can drop in and we can put our ideas. We can share stories, certain things. We can be free. You know, uh, um, I see that a lot now a lot of companies are doing their own water cooler because you're going through the same scenario that we are going through as a realtor it's like a little site we have a blog we have the blog but a water cooler would, area would be different like you said um hmm. again it would have to be very private because even then compliant like unfortunately like that could be monitored as well since it is communication within the brokerage um I think that the way that around that would be, it would uh -huh. be a private, it would have to be a private group. And then, yes, uh -huh. essentially you could, you could post your opinions and ideas and it would just be a private group within you guys. Understood. Understood that. My mom just walked in. She's so <laughs> With quarantine, how many of you have gotten closer with your family? I don't know about you, but I missed my mom so much during lockdown. And it's not because she's standing in front of me. I swear. I really <laughs> 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 like, 
work. <laughs> I genuinely miss her. <laughs> Anyone else have any questions? And Andreina, if you want, I'll send you like what a, a watercolor idea would be that would be compliant, okay? Please. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. You know, there's times we want to post a, 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 a recipe. These are, listen, guys, these are some new things that I've been learning in the past two weeks. I'm taking a class. And like um, the class that this meeting is about compliance, the simplest little thing is so out of whack. It's such loopholes. And we have to be very careful, like you said, or be in compliance. I think the best thing, again, is just be safe. Put that broker's information on everything. And if you do share someone's content, even if it's a recipe, make sure to tag them, shout them out. If you can even write like how amazing they are, like really impressed you were by whatever video or content they spread you can do that as well um i know the internet's fun and trust me if you follow me on instagram and facebook i rant i do so i understand i can understand the frustration being a realtor and having to not say what you feel or not say what you mean or, or not have you know that 100 percent freedom of speech if you will like like that like oh, i want to just say you know ah but again those checks that you guys get i think it's worth it i think i think that we can make another facebook page where if you want to just express your opinions or matters just don't put where you work anyone else have any questions i think we're good i i i mean if you have any questions, please do unmute yourself, talk to Sam really quick, and go from, we can go from there. Thank you, Sam, for clarifying everything. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for the information. I'm sending you some virtual uh, candy, okay? Oh, virtual yeah. candy? Is it, virtual, yeah. is it virtually not fattening? Like, I'm not going <laughs> to... It's great for the diet. <laughs> it sure is. Zero calories. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, it. I really do invite you um, to uh, follow me on social media. You can ask Marlene. I'm really good at like, if you DM me a question, like I'll answer you as soon as I can. Um, yes. Sometimes I'll do like a voice memo. I want everybody to love social media. I want to help everybody. And I know that in the long run, that's how we help each other grow. I'm, I'm a big advocate on that, on helping one another grow. I know that if, you, if I help you, eventually you'll help me at some time. Uh, Absolutely. You see, I'm very about the universe and my mandala, so I'm all about that. Um, <laughs> I'm a test. <laughs> I really enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy, uh, I enjoy social media for what I see its marketing purposes are, and I see that it is powerful on, a, on an every stance, and I hope that um, we can use that power for good. So it, again, follow me on social media, text me, you know, DM me, any questions that you have. Andreina, I owe you a couple of information now, I'll send you that PDF and the watercolor idea that I have in my head. And yes, then, thank um, you. Yeah. And uh, I want to share something. It would have been a watercolor thing, guys. I'm being in uh, Brokers LLC where um, you have to be bilingual. I, I see that. <laughs> I started my Spanish classes online with a live tutor. Amazing. Wow. And I'm learning more and I am super excited. So can, uh, I can read it more than I can speak it. So when I come to your meetings, I can do Spanish or English. And <laughs> now you can be in both. Yeah. Yes. And mm -hmm. practice is awesome because learning a, a new language off of a book or like, you know, some, it, it, it's not as accurate as like the Spanish the dialects that we speak here in the city. So I think it would be even awesome if Andreina could like, you know, practice with you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. That's awesome. Good for you. All righty, team. You guys have a happy uh, Wednesday last Friday because it's almost Friday. No? Yes. Did I skip too many days? All right. Well, you guys have a great end of the I'm, week. I'm working I don't you. Know. You know, Thank you. I've been, bye bye. I've been working from home this week. So I don't know if it's Saturday, if it's Tuesday. I kind of have to have my alarms go off to find out what's going on, you know, when. <laughs> I'm not mad at it, though. I'm not mad at it. You guys enjoy the rest of your week with your family, with your friends, and your plants, and your animals, and, and just enjoy life, guys, all right? Beautiful. Thank Bye. you. Have a Thank great you. day. Bye. Bye. Bye.